I've been wanting a widescreen monitor for a while now. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada, and I work with video, photos, documents, websites, and content of all kind as a creator and YouTuber. And to be honest, sometimes I'll have a dozen windows open and don't even get me started on how many tabs. Monitors are an interesting space. There's hundreds of options in different sizes, resolutions, thicknesses, ones with stands, and others on arms. I'm on a quest to find a great monitor for my home office, and that led me to the LG 34WK650W 34-inch monitor. Now, this model is a few years old, but I picked it because it is still a bestseller on Amazon, so I thought there must be something pretty great about it. In my review, I'll tell you what you're getting, what this monitor is like to set up and to use, and whether I recommend it for you. Now, a quick aside about my setup here. I work off an Apple MacBook Pro, so any monitor has to connect to that and provide me more screen real estate than I'm getting now. It's also helpful if I can use my laptop fully open underneath so I can keep all my screen real estate. Now, with the LG monitor here, I could not use the stand that came with it and have my MacBook open so that I wasn't covering the monitor space. So I actually went out and got a separate monitor arm to put it up on that was gonna give me a lot more space above the laptop. So what you're seeing here is my ideal configuration, but I did have to take it off the stand that it came with and create my own option on a monitor arm. This monitor is full HD, which isn't as sharp as some of the newer 4K monitors, but this one also doesn't cost a thousand bucks either. If you want a better quality screen, you can definitely upgrade, but you've got to have the budget. On this model, the screen is bright, clear, and easy to read. The monitor is quite fat. This is no slim glass panel. Measuring about an inch thick at its narrowest point to about three to four inches at its widest, it may not look as sexy as some of those new monitors, but like I said, this is an older model that's not promising to disappear anyway. It is white on the back, which does help it blend in a little better. The 21 to 9 ultra wide full HD resolution does give you about 33% more screen space compared to regular HD screens. This means it is super easy to ensure your zoom screen, for example, takes up more of the space and you can see all the attendees or to put reports or sheets up side by side. For me, I like to have my scripts up while I'm video editing. Everything is all in front of me and it's easy to see on this widescreen monitor. The monitor is HDR10 compatible, though depending on the Windows 10 OS settings, if you're using a PC, HDR content might not be displayed accurately. Now there's also sRGB, which is the standard for ideal color reproduction, and with 99% coverage of the color spectrum, this LG monitor would be a great option for professional photographers, graphic designers, or anyone looking for highly accurate color. Now I'm no color expert, but I can say that everything looks looked both really good on the monitor and like it should, realistic. I'm not a gamer, but I know a lot of you are, so I will pass on some information on settings for you, but know that I haven't tried them out. The monitor uses what's called AMD FreeSync, and with FreeSync you get a more seamless movement when playing high resolution or fast paced games. FreeSync virtually eliminates screen tearing and stuttering, says LG, though it is only available when it's connected to a display port or HDMI. I'll mention a couple other gamer-oriented settings here while we're on the topic. You can kill input lag with something LG calls dynamic action sync, and there's a crosshair setting which adds a target point fixed in the center of things for shooting accuracy. The refresh rate, by the way, is 75 Hz. There's two other settings on this monitor worth mentioning. Flicker Safe and Reader Mode. Flicker Safe reduces invisible flickering on the screen and provides what LG says is a more comfortable working environment for your eyes. With Reader Mode, the monitor has adjustable color temperature, meaning you can have a color temperature similar to that of paper or one that's kind of warmer. It does warm and dull the glare substantially. You can also adjust light and color tone to your preferences. Overall, I found the screen quality to be really good and really don't have any complaints about it. This is a 34 inch monitor and when I bought it, I was deliberately trying to go huge. But the first thing I thought though once I got it set up was actually that it might have been a little too big. 
The desk I'm using at the moment is very narrow and the monitor's stand alone is huge. So in this small space, it's really hard to get my laptop on the desk too and even harder for what's become the key problem, sitting far back enough to see all of the screen. So while I'm not deducting any points on LG for any of this, I'm mentioning it because you should do what I did not. Measure your space and make sure you've got enough depth to hold it and to give you a wide view of the screen. One thing this monitor also does not do, by the way, is swivel. You can tilt it from 5 to 15 degrees, but in terms of swiveling it or panning it, not really an option. And the stand this monitor comes with is almost 10 inches deep and it's curved, so it actually takes up quite a lot of desk space. The next issue I faced was that even at its tallest setting, this LG monitor couldn't quite get out of the way of my laptop. The open laptop covered quite a bit of the bottom of the screen. I've actually seen this on another LG monitor I reviewed. They're just really not made to be used in conjunction with a laptop, in my opinion, or you need to get a special stand. And I ended up getting a monitor arm from Kensington to help better position it. A review of that stand, by the way, is coming soon. You probably saw me using this before, but to adjust some of the settings for this monitor, you need to download the LG on-screen control app. Using the app, you can change the color temperature or brightness, adjust settings, and use the split screen feature to divvy up your screen if you want. The split screen seems handy enough. It doesn't create separate screens as much as it simply aligns all your windows to a preset grid for you. Overall, this monitor has been pretty great. On its own merits, there's hard to find anything wrong with it. The screen is bright and easily competes with the bright daylight filtering into my office here. It's clear and the widescreen size lets me do so much more at once, so I love that aspect. Any issues here are really problems of my own making and due to my particular workspace here, though I do wish this monitor's stand had another inch or so of height so I could slide my laptop right under it without needing to go out and buy another monitor arm. But overall, if you're looking for a monitor for gaming or one for working or working from home, this I think can handle both. The LG 34WK650 Ultra Wide Monitor sells for about $349 US dollars, and you can get it from Amazon. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have about this monitor. You can also post them here on comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.